Okay, uh, good morning. This is uh, Professor David J. De Los Reyes. Okay, it's uh, September 24, 2023. And the time is around 12.52 a.m. <coughs> okay, my topic for this session will be a continuation of my long video format discussion on this is uh, AC machines. Uh, and we are now on lesson number 20. Okay, let's proceed. The topic for this morning will be an example problem on the computation of the so-called hysteresis loss of a transformer. Okay, let's proceed. The subject matter for this morning will be AC machines, lesson number 20. And this will be, the title of the topic will be Example Problem on the Computation of the So-called Hysteresis Loss of a Transformer. Uh, one component of the core loss is actually the hysteresis loss. <coughs> the last time around, lesson number 19, uh, I give you an example on the computation of the so-called AD current loss. Okay, so for this morning, we will be solving a problem involving the computation of the hysteresis loss. Okay, I will try to read the example problem. Uh, the hysteresis loss in a 6600 volt, 60 hertz transformer is uh, 480 watts. Uh, what will be the loss when the transformer is connected to a 6900 6, volt and 60 hertz source, 6600 and 40 hertz source, and 6940 hertz source. <coughs> okay, uh, let's try to draw the figure. Uh, our transformer is just single phase, so this should be our transformer here. Right? Secondary winding, primary. The applied voltage is 6600 coming from the transmission line, frequency 60 hertz originally. Okay, and for the given problem, uh, what is given is a uh, capital letter P with the subscript H, meaning hysteresis loss, 480 watts. That is when the impressed voltage on the primary is uh, 6600 and the frequency is 60. The problem is asking what will be <coughs> PH at 6960 hertz, slightly higher than this one, same frequency. Next one is a uh, hysteresis loss. Uh, the voltage uh, is the same as 6600, but instead of 60, this is 40 hertz. Thirdly, hysteresis loss. Uh, the voltage is uh, 6900, same as the first one, but instead of 60 hertz, this, this will not be 40 hertz. So we are to compute for three variations of hysteresis loss at different uh, voltages and frequencies in. We'll try to see what will be the variation in the value. Okay, to bring out the solution of this, uh, we will be using the derived equations from the previous lessons. For hysteresis loss, it is actually a certain constant K1 times the ratio E over F. F is frequency raised to 1.6. Oh, this is an exponential equation. Right? Uh, the key to the solution here is that uh, we must have to compute for K1. So when we go to the variation uh, different voltages and frequency, we know the value of K1. Uh, because we are talking of the same transformer here. Uh, the only variation is that the impressed voltage for each requirement are actually different. And the frequency is also different. Actually, you could vary this one on the laboratory, right? Uh, this is uh, to be varied by using a variable, a variable AC source. For the frequency, uh, there's a, the so-called, uh, you can change the frequency actually. Okay, let's try to bring out the solution. For, uh, from this equation here, uh, we'll try to compute for K1. K1 will be pH divided by this value here. That is a E over frequency raised to 1.6. Meaning the ratio of voltage and frequency raised to 1.6. To solve for the constant of this transformer, K1, uh, we'll be using the initial condition that uh, at this voltage zero in frequency, the 
mysterious laws is for it. So actually, we could compute for its constant. Uh, uh, it's a property of the core, right? So K1 will be for 80. This should be 6600 over 60 raised to 1.6. Uh, I did this one on the calculator. 6600 over 60 raised to 1.6. Uh, that will be 1846. So for 80 divided by 1846 is almost 1 .4. So you you will be we will be needing our calculator over here. Of course, our it is a scientific calculator. Uh, it's easy to calculate this one. Oh, uh, we've been doing this under algebra, right? So what you will do per here is uh, display 6600 divided by the 60. Okay, so the resulting ratio of this is actually 110. We reach that to the 1.6. There is y to the x here on the calculator. We place the exponent 1.6. Okay, the value is 1845.98 or that is approximately 1846. We will take the reciprocal of that, multiplied by 480. What comes out is 0 0.26002 or approximately 0 0.26. This is 0.26. We needed this value K1 here in the computation of the hysteresis loss at the different uh, voltages and frequency. Okay, so going back to the first requirement, uh, if the increased voltage here will be changed to instead of 6600, it will be 6900 and uh, still maintain the frequency 60 hertz, what will be the hysteresis loss? So we'll still be using this one. Okay. Uh, we now know the value of Q1, which is 0.26, because we are talking of the same transformer here. The impressed voltage is 6900. Okay. And the frequency is 60 hertz. Is it correct? 6960. Yeah, 6900. The only difference here is the voltage, right? Because from the ori from the original condition it's 6600. So this will be 6900 divided by 60. Uh, this is 110 a while ago, so this will be 115 because the voltage go goes up a little bit by 300. So this is 115. So supposed to be uh, the hysteresis loss will be higher than the original 480. Uh, this is 115 raised to 1.6, that is 1982 times 0.26. It is actually 515.33 watts. It's slightly higher than the original 480 because the impressed voltage was got an additional of 300 volts because originally it was 6600 at 480. So. At 6900 with the same frequency, it goes up a little bit, 515.33 watts. What's next? If the impressed voltage is uh, 6600, same as the original, but the frequency is 40 hertz, uh, I think this will rise up, right? Because if we try to divide 6600 by 40, the denominator is less than, right? So the number inside will be greater then we still raise that to 1.6, so it is actually 165 times 1.6. It is 35, 31.62, and if we try to multiply this one, it is 918.22 watts. Okay, slightly higher, because the frequency goes down, okay? If the denominator is less, of course, the resulting quotient will be higher, and we reach that to 1.6, so it will be higher, 918.22 watts. Uh, the last one, if the impressed voltage is uh, 6900, okay, but instead of 16, it will be 40, right? So this should be 6900 over 40. Uh, this is 172.5. So this way, it will be greater than this, right? Because uh, the frequency is uh, 40. Okay? This is 172.5. Oh, this is not square. <laughs> so report this one. Uh, slave of the pen uh, raised to 1.6. It is actually 3791.94 times 0.26. Am I still on camera? And the hysteresis loss 
is at 985.90 watts. It's slightly higher because why? The press voltage was higher for the same frequency, slightly higher. Because the ratio here is 165 and the, this one here is 172.5. And this factor 0 0.26, 0 0.26 uh, didn't change, right? So it is 985.90 watts, almost a thousand watts. Okay, so these are the value of the hysteresis loss, loss at the different impress voltages and frequencies. Okay, uh, that's it guys. That's the way how to compute hysteresis loss for a transformer. Okay, if we are given the impress voltage and frequency. It's an easy one, alright? It's just a matter of... Uh, be what you call this uh, be be good enough in writing and take it easy okay uh, good morning from los angeles professor david illustrator